So early in April, the company that I work for asked me to go ahead and work remotely, right? Because um, we're doing some renovations in the office and that's fine. But the job that I do requires me to be connected to the internet as well as because I work with three screens, it requires me to have all my screens powered as well as my laptop. Having internet is fine. Because we have the Gazoo Mini DC UPS, which can keep our internet powered for like 12 hours, that's perfect. But now comes the story of power. And with load shedding, we did, I didn't know what to expect because the work from home is gonna be a space of four months. That's where this little baby came in, right? Because we've had such an awesome experience with the Gazoo brand, this is our go-to power supply provider. Right? And when I reached out to the team at Syntec, I told them, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I need to keep my laptop, what, 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 what. They said, Prashan, the Gazoo Hero Core is the device for you. They hooked me up with an awesome discount. And here we are. Little did I know that at the beginning of April, that would be the end of load sharing. And it's been now nearly two months that we haven't had load sharing. But this isn't a purchase that I regret because this is such an awesome device. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about it. So if I wanted to experience uninterrupted power on the go, this was the device for me. And specifically, this is the Gazoo Hero Core UPS power station, more specifically the 512 watt uh, hour device. It has a 512 watt hour battery capacity and this power station can actually ensure ample power reserves for your devices, whether you're embarking outdoors, on an escapade, whether you're navigating through load shedding episodes. And I mean, it has a sleek and resilient design that's not only eludes elegance but also promises durability making it the perfect companion for any situation whether you're camping whether you're working at home and i mean if you consider the small compact size of this device it is next level so out of the box what do you get if you purchase the gazoo 512 watt power station you get the gazoo hero core 512 watt ups power station you get an AC charging cable, which I think is really awesome and we'll talk about that later. You get a cigarette lighter to Anderson plug, which is basically your universal 12 volt port. Then you get the USB manual and that's about it. And I mean, what more would you need for a device like this? When it comes to the technical specifications of the device, right? Um, in terms of the design, it has an awesome rugged design, tough plastic that's quite difficult to dent, well, not dent, but I mean, scuff up. It has a compact portability to it. And I mean, if you consider the 512 watt hour capacity and you look at the size of this device, it's next level. When it comes to weight, this device weighs six and a half kilograms small compact in terms of if of its inverter capabilities it has a pure sine wave inverter and the battery is a lithium ion phosphate life po4 battery so the cool thing with this specific design or this specific batteries that syntec decided to put into this it gives you up to a lifespan of 3,500 cycles of these batteries, which is almost double the lifespan of other devices in the market. The device is a 512 watt hour device with a max wattage of 800 watts. Input power, it can be powered by 220 volts um, and as well as it can be powered by a solar XT60 port. Um, which can charge the device as well. So now, in terms of the output ports, looking at it, 
we have a 1 watt 400 Kelvin torch. We have two USB Type-C 20 watt power delivery ports, which are 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts at 2.2 amps, or 12 volts at 1.67 amps. Um, there is one Type-C, which is a 100 watt power delivery, and this is obviously for charging of laptops and that sort of things. Then we have two USB Type-A ports, which are quick charging 3.0 ports. There's also the um, car socket port, which is 12 volt, 10 amps, um, as well as you have the DC 12 volt port here at the bottom, which is also 12 volts, 10 amps, and it has a total share between the two of 13.6 volts up to 10 amps and a max of 136 watts for the car cigarette uh, lighter port. There is also a 220 volt port built into the side here and this is one 220 volt um, which is rated up to 800 watts. Now when it comes to the charging of the device right via the 220 uh, volt port at a maximum of 400 watts it will be able to charge this in this device entirely in one and a half hours. We can also charge via solar, either 11.5 to 50 volts, and this will take up to 3.7 hours to recharge completely. Something else that I love about this device is that it can run in a UPS mode and has a 10 millisecond cutover. So basically what that UPS mode is, you, would, you are able to use this device in line. So basically you would have 220 plugged in, and your computer or whatever plugged in into the 220 volt port on the other side. So that means if the power has to trip, this will just kick into action. You don't have to power it on, change plugs, experience a dip or anything. So 10 milliseconds cuts over like that. And that was exactly what I needed for my work from home situation. So my sessions and, and that sort of thing are not interrupted. The power just cuts across just like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get to experience that. So the Hero series power station uses the lithium ion phosphate batteries, right? And it also has a feature that after two days in UPS mode, the battery capacity will actually throttle the battery to 90, between 90 and 100 percent. And the battery management system will actually drop the capacity to prevent a full charge to actually prevent uh, to about to around 90 percent to prevent overcharging. Of the device so the battery management system does these kind of things to make this last longer it has short circuit protection as well as overcharge protection over voltage protection as well as under voltage protection there's overload and temperature protection if the device starts running too hot as well as we've spoken about the battery management system that's built into the device so now when it comes to estimated runtime of the device, right, it can power a router, which is a 5 watt router, for up to 81.9 hours. It can power your DSTV decoder, which is a 20 watt device, for up to 20.5 hours. It can charge a laptop, which is a 50 watt device, at 8.2 hours. It can power an 80 watt electric fan for 5.1 hours. It can power your home entertainment or your home sound system, which is a 90 watt output for 4.3 hours. It can power your 42 inch LED TV, which is 100 watts at 4.1 hours. It can power a gaming console, which is 120 watts at 3.4 hours. It can power a slow cooker up to 250 watts for 1.6 hours. It can power your desktop PC, for, which is a 300 watt draw for 1.4 hours and it can even power a single door fridge for up to an hour which is a 400 watt device. When it comes to real world testing now, I can honestly tell you that Syntec and as well as the team at Gazoo have put in an extensive amount of testing to make sure that those numbers are accurate. Because we powered the 55 inch Skyward TV which is a 120 watt device for three and a half hours and exactly what it promised. The charge times as well, exactly, exactly what it promised. 
I expected like about two hours or something to, for this to charge. And one and a half, sometimes even under that, the device was charged and ready. Now, when it comes to the intended market of the device, right? As much as it's marketed towards um, outdoorsy sort of use because it'll allow you to travel and, and go anywhere with power and that sort of thing. Yeah, granted, that's one of the modes because of the light, the solar input and all of those things. But as well as this is built towards um, homes that need to be powered, people who are working remotely like myself. Um, and how that tells us that is because of the inline mode that it has built in which allows the automatic cutover and i mean looking at even the features charging your laptop um 100 watt port and even if it's like you're traveling if you have the space to take this with you you know you are sorted no matter what so now when it comes to the price of this device right so this device retails anywhere between 7500 and 8000 rand and it is available in this awesome looking gazoo dark gray black with the green stripes and the cool thing is that this device is backed by a 24 month warranty backed up by gazoo syntec and, and all of those and, and i mean the the two year warranty alone will tell you how strong this brand is as well as I mean, they, they haven't experienced any issues in the market being one of the biggest uh, distributors of power devices in South Africa. All right, so now when it comes to the pros and the cons, starting with the pros, one of the first pros is the fact that the enormous number of ports and on top of that, each port has its own set of controls, meaning the 12 volt, you can turn on and off, the USB ports, the light, as well as the second pro, which is the fact that it has sound indicators to let us know what's going on with the UPS. And it's not just um, doing its own thing and we don't know what actually is going on. Then the third point we come to is its absolute rugged design, as well as its somewhat lightweight. And I mean, that can't be argued. The third thing is that Apart from the accurate measure on the calculators, it also accurately displays on the display screen here. And that's one of the other pros is that it gives you live data in terms of input power, in terms of output power, the draw, which ports are on. If the fan is on, there's even an indicator that comes on. So there's very accurate information being displayed to you so that you know what's going on with the UPS. The next thing I have to mention is the fact that it has solar input. So the solar input, not only when you're traveling, I mean, if you're at home, you can buy the Gazoo charging mat, and then instead of you paying for power to charge up this device, you just put out the solar mat, connect up to this, and you know, this device is solar or is charging free of charge um, because it's charging off solar. The next pro I have to mention is the UPS or inline mode and that is absolutely amazing because what that does is mean if you're using it in your home you don't have to worry about turning the device on or cutting over plugs and all of those you just plug it in line and when the power dips cuts over and I mean you, you, you don't understand how simple and easy it makes your life even if you have generators you mean that means you have to go and start the generator, cut the electricity across. You don't have to do any of that with this device. The final pro I'm going to mention is the fact that we're using the Life PO4 batteries, which give us three and a half thousand cycles. And compared to some of the other brands that produce power stations like this, the three and a half thousand cycles on these batteries are next level compared to 1,000, 2,000 it just gives you so much more life with this device than others can. In terms of the cons, there's not too many that I can mention. There's not actually anything I, that I can mention because, I mean, previously you would have heard me complain about we don't know when things are dying because the, there's no beeping. I think Syntex has been watching, they've been taking notes 
and they've answered everything that I've asked for in previous videos. Um, I 100% love this device and I love the design and the color of this device. The one thing that I mention, uh, I can mention that is not really a con but more a weak point is the handle, right? So the handle is made up of many different parts. So the inner green, that's one piece and then there's the outer piece up here. What I've noticed is when I'm, because again now, this is the handle for the device. So if I have to carry this device, sometimes if you're carrying it one hand, it does feel, it, it might also just be a feel thing, but it feels like that handle's gonna give up and it's really scary. So that is the only thing that I, that I might mention as a weak point. But other than that, this device is the perfect device for you. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, as much as I've never gotten to use this uh, device for its full capacity um, in the last two months, apart from the testing, I do not regret purchasing these, this device by any means because it's such an awesome device that I would be happy to have it in my arsenal of tools no matter what. And I mean, when we're going out shooting and all of those things, at least I also know I got this thing to move with me. <clears throat> now, in terms of coming to round up with this device, how much more do I need to say about this device? Um, indicators, um, accurate calculations as to in, term, in terms of charging time, in terms of output time, and literally when we're discharging it for the TV to the T, the exact time point that he told us that it's gonna fail or it's gonna turn off was it on the dot. Um, the fact that we have individual controls of the ports, it's a big, big must because if you just wanted to use the USB, then you don't have to worry about um, turning everything on and that sort of thing. The other thing that's cool is that you have a primary power on button and then you can turn on the individual ports. But if I had to switch the device off, right? There's no way of me powering these ports on again once the device has been turned off. So it prevents it from just discharging on its own and all of those things. In terms of our rating of this device, I am going to rate the Gazoo Hero Core 512 watt power station a 9.8 out of 10 from us here at Texin Zere. And it's an awesome, awesome device. The lifespan of this device is amazing. The capabilities of this device is next level. So this is something we would never, ever, ever go wrong if you had to purchase this. And like how I mentioned, I, I do not regret pur uh, purchasing this device even though I haven't gotten to use it properly. So, with that being said, a big shout out to the team from Syntec for hooking us up with this device. Guys, I want you guys to know that the thoughts and opinions expressed in this video is purely mine and the views of me and TechScene ZA. This has not been influenced in any way or shape and form and Syntec just did me a favor and hooked me up with this device, right? Um, Changing up the way that I say this, it's not trying to implicate or imp implicate anything. I'm just trying to change it up to say, hey, these are my thoughts and opinions going forward. And I'm gonna say the same thing in a lot of the videos in the future. But I think I am rambling on yet again, guys. So again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you wanna pick up this device, there's a link in the description to, below to take a lot. As well as um, you can pick it up for most of your major retailers and yeah but guys thank you very much for watching my name is Prashant and I will catch you in the next video